Hi Gender Blenders, welcome to week 98. This week's question, depression around the holidays. Due to unfortunate situations, the holiday season can bring people down. What is your advice to those who are letting family, friends, problems affect them? For example, family rejection or tension as a result of transition, or hiding your transition from family, friends, etc. Well, this is Steffi. Do you get depressed? I had trouble with this question, actually, because I generally am so up all the time that I almost never get depressed, so it's very difficult for me to answer that question. So I thought a little bit about it and uh, asked myself, well, why is that so? Why do I not get depressed very often at all? Um, and so maybe some of the tips that I'll pass on in this video might help people who do get depressed. See, you see, my son Steve does get depressed often. I don't. The last time I was depressed during holidays, gosh, I must have been in my teens. For a while, I'd get depressed after the holidays, because after all, everything's done, and you're back to the old humdrum experience of uh, everything that happens normally during your lifetime, uh, as opposed to the festivities around this time of the year. So, particularly, why now? Why do I not get depressed? Last year was the first Christmas I celebrated as a woman. How could I be depressed at that? This year, well, I got a couple of early Christmas presents. <laughs> got my SRS, got my breasts enhanced. I mean... What better Christmas presents could you look for? How could you possibly be depressed with that? Um, so, you know, I always maintain a positive attitude, and it's that positive attitude that keeps me from depression. But, you know, that's because I'm normally an optimist. And you know, of course, the definition of an optimist, right? An optimist is a person who worships the very ground their head is buried in. <laughs> as opposed to the definition of a pessimist. You know the difference between a pessimist and an optimist? Well, an optimist, of course, is, is um, thinks that this is the best of all possible worlds, and a pessimist is afraid that they're right. <laughs> so with those couple of jokes, how do you stay happy? So here's a couple tips, maybe. Family rejection. That's tough. That's very, very tough. And, you know, I have a total of five sisters. Three that I'm uh, biologically related to, and two who I've adopted. And, you know, of those five sisters, of course the two that I've adopted, have no trouble with me as I am. One of my biological sisters has no trouble with me whatsoever. The other two can occasionally have trouble with me. Sometimes they accept me, sometimes their bias and background and, quite frankly, bigotry gets the best of them, and uh, they have trouble with me, so they don't know how to relate, and that's okay. So, um, family rejection, how do you handle family rejection? You know, one of the ways that you can, of course, handle that is to just simply say, well, have a nice life, that's your problem, which is indeed true. It's not your own, yours and my problem. It's their 
issue. And ultimately, there's nothing that you can do about it. So you just let them lead their own life. One of my biological sisters um, keeps sending me things about the why what I'm doing is wrong. And I keep sending back, but yes, you have to understand, had I not made this transition, I would be dead now. And that stops her for what? <laughs> so, my virtual family are those people who accept me. And that includes my virtual sisters. And thank you, dear sisters. You know who you are out there. Thank you, dears. You are my family. And I think I mentioned that I would do anything for that family. But, you know, when your family, your own biological family rejects you, maybe that's how to cope a little bit better. Adopt those folks who are kindred spirits to you, who share the same values that you do, and they become your virtual family. And they'll never let you down, ever. Because that's what family's all about. Tension during transition. That can be being due to being overwhelmed uh, early on in transition. It certainly can be fear and things like that. An interesting quote from Dune. Fear is the mind killer. Remember Dune? Some of you folks liked it. Some of you folks didn't like it. Some of you folks don't know anything about it. It was a movie. It was a book before that. But fear is the mind killer. Don't let fear get to you. Ignore fear. Go ahead with what you're doing. You will find that the more you go ahead and the more positive you stay, the less that fear bothers you. And the less that fear can harm you. Being overwhelmed, that's another thing that happens to us when we're in transition. Maybe things have gotten bad for us at work and we're overwhelmed by all the bad things that have happened to us. Maybe many of our friends have left us and we're overwhelmed by that. Maybe we're overwhelmed by the season, this holiday season, by so many things that are happening and yet makes you depressed. Maybe you're overwhelmed by so many good things that have happened to you. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, limit your options. That's a good way of avoiding that. For example, um, you folks know that um, I'm widowed. And quite frankly, I'm looking for a husband. I think you know that. So I'm begin dating. So interestingly enough, uh, I started to get overwhelmed by some of the responses I was getting on, like uh, my place uh, or, or MySpace uh, channel uh, and things like that. And I started to get overwhelmed. So I had to cut down those options to a certain group of people who I chose to get close to. And where that'll go, I don't know. Did I limit? the wrong people? I don't know. I think not. But you know, time will tell. And limiting those options keeps me from getting overwhelmed. If you have someone that you're close to, that's a good option. If you have someone that you're not used to, maybe you want to eliminate that option to keep you from getting overwhelmed. I don't know. I don't know. But that's one possibility. Generic tips. Keep busy. Do something else above all. Maintain a positive attitude. Hiding during your transition. Come out to one person. You know, if you come out to more people, just come out to a person. Just come out to a person. The more people that you come out to, 
the easier it will become and that hiding will become less and less of a problem. You know, around the ninth month of my transition, I got in my mind the idea that I had to come out to everyone who ever knew me. And you know, I absolutely sought out those folks who I had almost no contact with, but you know, I might get in touch with them and here's what I am. And you know what? That eliminated the rest of my fear ever. So that helped come out to one person. Maybe that's a thing. The holidays are meant to be a fun time. Celebrate. Celebrate yourself for who you are. So maybe that was a little bit of help. Anyway, happy holidays, everyone. And I hope you don't get depressed. Think of something positive.